Instead of transmissible diseases, non-communicable diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, hypertension, and stroke are now the leading causes of deaths in the region. This was the context set for CARICOM Ministers of Trade and Health at the start of their historic joint meeting on issues that are critical for a healthy regional population. We have made some progress over the years in addressing entities, but there's still lots more to be done. And um, we have worked with several stakeholders, probably mainly so with health, but there is a recognition that this must be done with intersectoral collaboration and especially with the trade and industry sectors of our community, and hence this meeting. The meeting examined issues pertaining to the economic cost of NCDs and the risk factors for mortality and morbidity from them. There is no doubt that the greatest threat facing the Caribbean is NCDs as was identified in 2007 in Trinidad when the declaration or the Port of Spain declaration was made. We are here today because we recognize that the fight against NCDs needs strategic alliance. We cannot succeed unless we formulate a strategic alliance without good trade as part of the structure of fighting this crisis. In a grave warning to the meeting, Dr. Joyce St. John, Executive Director of the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CARFA, told Ministers of Trade and Health that the quality of life in this beautiful geography, that is the Caribbean, is much diminished by NCDs. Outlining the risk factors which predisposed people in the most productive populations to NCDs, she highlighted tobacco use, which accounts for one in every six deaths, harmful use of alcohol, and physical inactivity.